Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. We are delighted to have your presence on our channel, and we aim to provide you with valuable spiritual insights for your journey. Our heartfelt prayer is that God will graciously hear our petitions through Jesus Christ, guiding us divinely and showering His love upon us. May His protective hand shield us from harm, and may our lives be filled with joy and achievement. Let us now humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all ways, including the discerning of these messages, as He is all-powerful, all-omnipotent just as He is consubstantial with God the Father, and the Son. And with a great act of trust, and love to the Holy Spirit, that He may give us the grace to discern these messages from heaven, join me in pray. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord and let the perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Message from Our Lady My beloved children, some among you have taken a break from your year's toil, affording you a chance to ponder upon God, me, your closest companion. Yet, if you use this time to distance yourself from me, it's not truly a respite, but rather a scattering, and such a mindset is not conducive to entering into my love. Even though you haven't embraced the religious life, God must always remain your foremost love, a priority regardless of your location or occupation. While you are at leisure, let not your devotion waver. What am I accomplishing now through these recent writings? if not infusing you with divine wisdom and saturating you with a reservoir of love. The days are approaching when outages in power, sound, and connectivity, internet, will separate you, rendering you devoid of the elements that presently compose your daily existence. The influence of social networks is eroding your daily existence, particularly within the younger cohort. It's imperative to rediscover the art of living without being perpetually tethered to superficial distractions and mind-numbing visuals. In former times, individuals coexisted harmoniously with their immediate surroundings, and this state of affairs seldom evoked discontent. Voyaging was a wondrous exploration, yet in the present, affordability has detached you from reality. Often, you dwell in places other than where my divine providence has situated you. This detachment from the present moment is a consequence of modern society's constant connectivity. It's essential to recognize the value of immersing oneself fully in the current environment and fostering genuine connections. The allure of instant gratification through screens and the virtual world shouldn't replace the richness of genuine experiences. Relearning the art of presence and appreciating the beauty around you can restore a sense of balance and fulfillment. As you traverse the sea of life, anchored in the present, you'll discover the treasures that reality has to offer. A shift in these times is imminent, bringing about changes you can hardly fathom. The prospect of being severed from the distant realms, the influx of external imagery, and the connection with loved ones far away may soon become a reality. The elderly suffered greatly during recent lockdowns due to their inability to visit family, succumbing to sadness and isolation. Such seclusion without a connection to God is truly unbearable. My dear children, in these customary moments of vacation, endeavor to reduce screen time and delve into readings of piety, the lives of saints, and spiritual exercises. These preparations are vital because God is set to become your sole interlocutor. He has the power to fill your life with meaning. Yet, if you haven't cultivated the habit of seeking Him in all circumstances, isolation will not only distance you from your loved ones but also from Him, leaving you in profound unhappiness. Remember, the bonds with family and friends are essential, but the ultimate source of solace lies in your relationship with the Divine. Embrace this opportunity to deepen your connection with God, and in times of solitude, you will find companionship and contentment that transcends physical barriers. God possesses a myriad of qualities, 
encompassing boundless joy, a penchant for communication, unwavering solace, and limitless imagination. Without him, you will eventually exhaust your resources, and although they may provide temporary assistance, they can never match the riches found in a profound union with him. He possesses an intimate understanding of each individual's life, struggles, and unique attributes. Those who confide in him will receive guidance and inspiration for the actions to undertake or avoid. Maintain fidelity to him, approaching him with unwavering trust and deep filial reverence, and rest assured that you will not be forsaken. I await you at the base of altars, in every sanctuary, and my presence guarantees fulfillment rather than disappointment. Do not desert me, and in return, you will never experience abandonment. My love and protection envelop you and will continue to do so, for I stand as the most compassionate and caring of fathers. I offer my blessings and affection upon you. Let it be so. I am your Lord and your God. In these words, a divine invitation echoes, calling for a steadfast connection to the Creator who offers a wellspring of comfort, inspiration, and unwavering companionship. By entrusting ourselves to God's wisdom and love, we open ourselves to a life imbued with purpose and a bond that transcends all worldly concerns. In a world teeming with distractions and fleeting pleasures, the message stands as a resolute reminder to refocus our attention on the eternal and transformative power of our relationship with God. The clamor of social networks and the allure of virtual landscapes often eclipse the genuine connections that nurture our souls. The advice to step away from screens during this customary vacation period echoes the wisdom of generations past, who found solace and enrichment in the pages of piety, the lives of saints, and spiritual introspection. This timeless counsel resonates as a call to rediscover the joy of communion with God and to cultivate a heart that seeks His guidance in every facet of life. The anticipation of change in the times ahead prompts introspection about our readiness to embrace a more intimate bond with the Divine. The impending isolation from the noise of the world invites us to reevaluate our priorities and find solace in the presence of our heavenly interlocutor. The assurance of God's constant companionship, His knowledge of our innermost struggles, and His loving guidance instill hope and perseverance. By heeding this counsel, we align our lives with a deeper purpose, fortified by the understanding that our connection to God transcends distance and circumstance. As we navigate the uncertainties of tomorrow, let these words serve as a beacon, reminding us that even in moments of isolation, we are never truly alone. Our devotion to God will be the anchor that steadies us, ensuring that our journey is marked by abiding joy, enduring love, and unwavering faith. Dear Lord, in your boundless love and unwavering presence, I humbly come before you. Fill my heart with your divine guidance, fortify my spirit with unwavering faith, and grant me the strength to navigate life's challenges with courage. Let your light shine within me, guiding my steps along your righteous path. May my actions, words, and thoughts reflect your eternal love and grace. I surrender all to you, trusting in your perfect plan for my life. Thank you for your endless mercy and blessings. In your holy name, I offer this prayer. Amen. <laughs>